spiritual being with a very long lifespan. And so what we are looking at right now is this change. So this period is basically a period of, of change, of transformation. So that's the first thing we have to understand is that there's change going on. This awakening is part of this process. The okay, changes so in our bodies are part of this process. So the, what we're saying is the chakra systems are energy centers that are a part of our physical system. Right. And then our, our awakening process is not only uh, a, 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 um, a new understanding of what life's all about, but also physical properties, our physical properties are changing as well. Exactly. And not just our emotions, feelings, and our thought processes. Right, right. And, right. And, and also and, and our way of lifestyle is, is changing as well. Right. It, that's why we have things like the Green Revolution. All of a sudden, the, the ecology related to a global warming awareness and the need to see that our civilization needs to have elements in it that aren't there right now and to work hard to see that those elements are inculcated into it or that other parts of, the, of it that are not functioning properly and are actually dysfunctional to us maintaining ourselves as, as, a, as a being on this planet need to be changed. So that's what's happening here. We are working for change. We are working for a whole new reality. We are working toward changing ourselves as well. So this is a process. Everything feeds into everything else. And so the result is you start to see that there's actually an integrated process of immense proportions happening here, which is bringing what seemingly are diverse elements together to create this wonderful thing, which I like to call the bringing forth of our new and full self as fully conscious beings. Now, I'm, now there's still one, one thing that's left I'm still wanting to understand as, as, as a neophyte. Um, how is the, this new chakra system coming in and taking over, replacing, or, or just combining with our, our, our old chakra system? How, how is that process occurring? And then what, can, can we do something to speed that up? And if so, is that good for us uh, to speed it up? Okay, what we have to understand, first of all, is our seven chakra system is also integrated. But around it are systems, as I just said before, that are latent. They are now coming in. So actually, we're expanding the seven chakra system up to a 13 chakra system. We're expanding our RNA, DNA up from the two strand that people talk about to a strand that eventually be a 12 stranded RNA, DNA. So what's happening is three things are happening here. We're, we're expanding ourselves. More energy is coming into ourselves. We are integrating that energy in. And then, then there's a, finally there's a process that is leading us, because of all of that, to have, be more and more aware of what's going on within ourselves, within the world around us, and within the universe as well. So what is happening here is a vast change in what we see as our reality, a vast change in what we see of what we are capable of, and a vast change of what we look at when we look at who and what we are. Got it. Got it. I mean, so you're, you're saying that our chakra, our main seven chakra systems within our, our physical uh, framework are, are still there, but we're, our, our chakra systems are actually extending. For, right, for, right. Uh, they're uh, extending. They're extending. Like, for instance, let's take the heart chakra. The heart chakra has, a, has a, what used to be called the upper heart center, which is the thymus, which is, deals with the immunity system. That is now going to become a separate chakra because in fully conscious beings, controlling the immune system, regulating it, is part of the whole process of maximizing the integration between your physical and spiritual self. So that's changed. That's one of the newer chakras. So the same thing, there's, there's parts in the head that are coming in right now because our visioning process is increasing. So a thing w which, which, is in, which is in the back of the head, the, uh, the well of dreams, is now coming in. That's our vision center. It's combining now with our, with our uh, pituitary system to create in our brain a system that allows us to do things with our, with our brain that we couldn't do before. In other words, to, to go from 10% to 100% utilization of our brain. Wow, nice. And well, let me ask you this: What, what about the old, older folks? Uh, you know, 80s, 90s, they're already in nursing homes. What about these people? Well, we got to remember when the process occurs, everybody is going to be turned into fully conscious beings, and that means that the aging process. Which there's a thing that over the last 20 years. Uh, geneticists have discovered it's called uh, epigenetics, which simply means epi means higher or above. What they've discovered is there's actually within the genetic code this epigenetic overlord code, which basically tells the 
the sequencing within the RNA and DNA, what to turn on, what to turn off. So, and it's based upon stress, past lives, etc. So, aging is one of the master switches within this epigenetics because actually, there's no part of our body that's over over five, six years old. There are some parts of our body that even every two years, every three years, are completely changed. So why is it if we have new cells born all the time, why are we aging? Because there's an epigenetic program in us that sequences us into an aging process. So really, once you become fully conscious, you switch out that epigenetics, you put in a new epigenetics that says you have capabilities to live at your maximum energies so you don't age. So people who are old right now, when this switch happens, they'll go back to being the maximum age, which is being between uh, 17 and 25, depending on the genetics of the individual. Wow, wow. Now, and now I've got to ask then, if, if once, now one of the biggest concerns for lots of people, the Illuminati, the, you know, the wealthy people, all these people that like to think they run the show on their planet, they're concerned about overpopulation. What about all that part? Well, what we have to understand is the basic thing, they're not so worried about overpopulation. They're worried about mass awareness. This is the one thing that they are massively in fear of, is that we will be aware of what they are doing and aware of what we can do. So they need to keep us in fear. And so if, uh, if disease and famine and all that stuff will help with the process, uh, they'll be more than happy to provide it because they want us to be looked at from an outer viewpoint and not from an inner viewpoint. And when we get into our inner viewpoint, we become aware, we become conscious of what's going on, we become beings that can no longer be manipulated, beings instead that demand instead of just ask what you want. So this is what they're really worried about. So they may use disease or other things and give all excuses about wanting to depopulate the planet and everything. What they really want are docile beings. They don't care how many billion of them is or how many millions there are. They just want docile beings. So when we stop being that, then they look upon us as a massive threat. So that's what's really happening here. They are very much afraid of the fact that we are becoming aware, and because of that, we are on the verge of causing a great switch. That's what, this is what I like to call the quiet revolution, which I've been talking about. It's a revolution in consciousness which changes the awareness of who and what we are, not just on a couple of people, but globally. And this is one of the things that has been happening on this planet. One of the consciousness and awakening results is that people cease to be able in any way to be people that are manipulated easily. They become people that can't be manipulated. And as a result of that, it's very important for people to understand that one of the things that is causing all kinds of problems among these uh, controllers, which is really more what we should really call them, these controllers are now seeing their control slip from them because what is happening now is they are finding out that their abilities to continue to control are not able to be as much as before. So we have a group which is called the Earth Allies. And I'm just going to keep this simple. And so if it seems like I'm floating around from one That's term fine. to another, I'm going. This, uh, the Earth Allies basically are a group of enlightened beings that have had power and wealth, etc., and want to work towards creating a society, a world, in which this manipulation is over and the result is that we have a society based upon awareness and not a society based upon manipulation, a society based upon love and cooperation, not one based upon fear and attempting to control people. So this is basically what is happening right now, and the group that is to cause this change and get rid of the controllers, or so I say transform from a world of controllers into a world of carers and supporters and a, and a world of wealth, of abundance as some people like to call it, is now on the verge of happening. So what we have to see now is that there is a quiet revolution happening on this planet and this is very close to happening. A uh, result of all of this is that they will then be able to end these cover-ups about the UFOs, because one of the things that all these people that are working for this change have discovered is that we are not alone, that there are people out there in the universe, the Galactic Federation of Light, for instance, and that this group wants to help them and help this planet to achieve its full abilities, which is to return itself to being fully conscious beings. Nice. Now, okay, let's go there. I, and I want to go there because 
I mean, this is, I mean, at, at any given moment, 